Sonos recently sued Google for patent infringement in a story that is becoming very commonplace today, unfortunately. Sonos, a relatively small company, especially compared to the multi-billion dollar company that's Google, innovated incredible technology in wireless speaker technology and voice controls of that speaker technology. They were delighted years ago when Google said that we'll license your technology from you and we'll incorporate it into some of our, our devices. Google at the time did not have speaker technology. There was no Google Home yet. There was no uh, Amazon Echo yet. Sonos entered into those business deals. And then of course, a few years later, Google Home comes out with its speaker system and Amazon Echoes come out with their speaker systems as well, being sold for far less than what Sonos had to pay, had to charge for its speakers because it incorporated, of course, all of the R&D expenditures and time and labor and commercial risk that it had to develop this technology that, of course, Google and Amazon did not when they took the technology. Unfortunately, Sonos is suing an environment today that has not existed for very long for at least American patent owners. It's almost impossible to obtain an injunction now, even when you're in a manufacturer, as studies consistently confirm. And the rules for how much you can receive for your damages have been so limited that it's barely possible now to cover your own attorney's fees. In fact, many people are already commenting that Sonos has already lost its lawsuit the moment it filed it against Google.